Tokyo is a crazy, frenetic, and astounding city. Here you can visit the Imperial Palace, the morning fish market, see the beautiful cherry blossoms, party in Tokyo's trendy nightlife district, sing karaoke, and eat lots of amazing food. It is Japan after all. I love Tokyo. It's one of my favorite cities in the world and I can't visit it enough. I love the fast-paced modern city that still embraces its traditional roots. I love the orderly crowds when you expect chaos. Tokyo is a city like none other. Where else can you be in a city of 10 million people but hear a pin drop? It's rare a person visits and doesn't enjoy their time here. This travel guide to Tokyo can help you navigate the city on a budget to make the most out of your visit, and hopefully fall in love with it too. The best time to visit Tokyo is in the spring, when the cherry blossoms bloom, typically March to April, and in the autumn, when the weather cools and the fall colors pop, between September and November. That being said, the weather in Tokyo is fairly temperate, even in the winter, although it can be hot and humid from late June to the end of August. The original temple was built in the 7th century. The resurrected temple is beautifully painted and sits in a scenic spot near a five-story pagoda and the famous Kaminari Gate. There's a huge statue of Canon, the goddess of mercy, inside the main hall. The grounds are open 24-7. The temple itself is open daily 6 a.m. 5 p.m. Built in 1957 and resembling the Eiffel Tower, the Tokyo Tower is made entirely out of steel. You can pay to go all the way to the top floor to take in the view, though the main observation deck offers a view that's just as stunning. Admission is 900 JPY for the main deck or 1600 JPY for the top. In 2018, the world-famous Tsukiji fish market moved to Toyosu and is now twice the size. The daily fish auction here powers much of the world's sushi supply, and it is truly a sight to see. I have never seen more seafood I couldn't identify. In the old outer market, you can still find food and shops. The Imperial Palace is the home of the Emperor of Japan. Formerly Edo Castle, the palace was built in the 15th century. When the emperor moved the capital from Kyoto to Tokyo in 1869, he took Edo Castle for his new palace. While you can't go inside, the palace and its grounds are a peaceful place to wander. Weno Park is covered in cherry blossom trees so the best time to come is when the trees blossom in April. The Tokyo National Museum is also located here and houses one of the world's largest collections of art and artifacts from Asia. Toshogu Shrine, which dates back to the 17th century, can be found in the park, as can the oldest zoo in Japan. Kaosan Tokyo Origami is newly opened as a 13th branch of Kaosan Tokyo Group on 24 October 2014. Good location, central of Asakusa, nearby Sensoji Temple, 5 minutes walk from Asakusa Station, amazing city lights and panorama, wonderful view of Asakusa from lounge and dining kitchen, cozy common area, in a gallery space, you can enjoy real communication with locals throughout hostel events, Japanese handicraft decorative hostel, you can find lots of handmade decorations everywhere in the hostel, here is my list of the best places to stay in Tokyo. Listed in order of preference Shinjuku is the best place to stay in Tokyo, especially the places located on the west side of the station. This is one of the city's biggest transport hubs and it's on the all-important Yamanote line. There are several huge department stores, huge electronic shops, literally thousands of restaurants, and Tokyo's best bookshop, Kinokuniya. Plus, there are plenty of sites nearby. The Tokyo Station, Marunouchi area is not only the city's main transport hub, it's a great place to stay. In fact, I am tempted to rate this as the best place to stay in the city. It's a very close second. Here, you've got the most important train station, including the terminal station of the Takedo Shinkansen line, for easy access to Kyoto etc. And, within easy walking distance you've got all the city's main department stores in Ginza, Nihonbashi etc. And, the area is literally awash with restaurants. Nearby, you've got the Imperial Palace and adjoining parks. And, best of all, the streets around here, especially in Marunouchi, are broad and pleasant. Shibuya is another huge shopping and transport hub on the west side of the Yamanote line. It's pretty similar to Shinjuku and the reasons I rate this highly are the same as for Shinjuku. Convenient transport connections, including the Yamanote line, plenty of shops and restaurants, and lots of attractions. It's just slightly less busy than Shinjuku and a bit more youth-oriented, in case that matters. What's good in Tokyo? Sushi. 
Tokyo is home to the world's largest fish market, Tsukiji Fish Market, so it's only natural that it would have the world's best sushi restaurants. Of course, there are some incredibly expensive sushi restaurants in Tokyo, but you can also eat delicious sushi for remarkably reasonable prices. See my Tokyo's best sushi restaurants page for some of my picks. Ramen, Tokyo is a ramen lover's paradise. You can find every type of ramen and every regional style in Tokyo. See my Tokyo's best ramen restaurants page for my recommendations. Izakayas, Japanese style pubs, or izakayas, are restaurants that serve good beer and sake along with typical Japanese fare like sashimi, grilled fish, yakitori and vegetable dishes. They're super popular with the after-work crowd. See my Tokyo's best izakayas and sake specialists page for some pics. Needless to say, you cannot just show up at Tokyo's high-end restaurants and expect to be seated. Some restaurants will accept direct reservations from foreign travelers and have English speakers on hand. However, this is not common. Some people have accused Tokyo's high-end restaurants of racism for refusing to accept direct bookings from foreign guests. Unfortunately, many such places have had bad experiences with foreign guests making bookings but then not showing up. As usual, a few bad apples have spoiled it for everyone. Thus, the best way to get a reservation at a high-end place is to book through your hotel's concierge. Another option is to use a specialized booking service trains, it's not shocking that trains are the preferred method of transportation around Tokyo. In fact, the city is so big the train system is divided into two companies, the Tokyo Metro and the Toei Subway. Between the two, there's nowhere in Tokyo you can't access. Just keep in mind that because of Tokyo's sheer size and amazing train coverage, the metro and subway map can be confusing. Make sure to download the Tokyo Subway Navigation for Tourists app before you set out. Buses, because the train system is so easy and comprehensive, most people skip the bus. But, it does exist. The Toei bus runs throughout Tokyo and to neighboring suburbs. Taxis, there are several taxi companies in Tokyo, all sporting various colors. In addition, you can hop in an Uber.car service. There are private car services aplenty in Tokyo, including Tokyo Car Service and Blacklane.